them come to you oh, I know they never really thought about it I know I gotta make a mind about it Gotta make them come to make them come to you oh, Say less time I have to show me what I do It's hold your power season Hold your frame, hey And put respect all up on my name, hey Know my presence here Give me space, hey, and know my influence, if not by fame, hey, I'll come your way sometimes, but not in pain, I've come to no distance without disdain, I play my role and I know my place, got on my own now, I'm on my way. Hello, and welcome to the weekly vlog. Now, normally, I start on like a Sunday or Monday, sometimes Saturday, if I'm feeling jazzed, but uh, it's Wednesday. I haven't vlogged for a couple days now, I took a much needed rest, but I'm on my break. This one. Also, apologies if you're hearing uh, someone is pressure washing their driveway and then two houses down, they're doing some yard work as well. So there's going to be background noise. Apologies in advance. But uh, yeah, I took a couple days off, enjoyed my vacation. You'll be so proud of me, you guys. I cleaned out all the old footage on my computer. I know, it was like two and a half years worth of footage. Uh, I did that on Sunday. I was originally like a week or two ago or a month ago. I don't know. Time doesn't exist. I have a two terabyte MacBook Pro and I had 1.89 filled up. I know. I know it's bad. <laughs> I'm aware that I have a problem, uh, but I'm going to stay on top of it from now on. So it's no big deal. Now, now that I've like done it now, I'm like, okay, if I just do this like even once a month, not even once a week, but like once a month, it won't be as big of an issue. I might do it weekly. My schedule will allow for a little while and it's like a nice chill activity. But now my computer is only taking up like 1.3 terabytes. So I basically cleared up 600, a little bit more gigabytes of space on my computer and that's insane. <laughs> But that was Sunday, and then Monday I had to go to Geek Squad. I think I mentioned that I postponed it from Friday to Monday. So glad I did, because I was able to clean it out a little bit more. Um, and good news, bad news. Bad news is it is indeed the hardware. The screen is going, the battery needs to be replaced. The quote for the repair was around $1,500. They're like, it could be any, you know, around this ballpark. So it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. But I got a quote, which I will submit to my insurance. And then when I was there, they're like, oh my gosh, the MacBook Pros are on sale right now. And I thought, wow, this is divine timing. I'm a lucky girl, everything works out for me. You know, that kind of mentality. Well, the biggest sized computer that they have that on, on that sale is running on, is on a one terabyte computer. And that's not enough space for me. <laughs> I could maybe get down to taking up one terabyte of space, but it would be really difficult and it I would constantly be running into filling that up. So I don't get the benefit from the $500 off. However, because I have insurance, if I do indeed need to get a new computer, which it's leaning towards that, to be honest, the guys were like, yeah, your computer's like almost six years old now. And they said I was kind of better off getting a new computer because other parts of the hardware are going to start to go and software is not going to be able to be added to it essentially. But the nice part is I will get the cost of like to fix it. I can either take that amount of money and fix it or I can take that money and put it towards a new computer. So contemplating new, new MacBook Pro, um, that'll probably be in the monthly reset. We're going to worry about that. We're going to worry about that later. That is not a current problem. <laughs> it is, but it isn't at the same time, because I have to wait to hear back from my insurance. However, this week we are working on the yard transformation. So we started on the walking path this morning, yesterday, in the pouring rain. It rained yesterday. It's cold today. Oh my gosh, did I mention? It's like cool. It's, it, this morning when I woke up it was 60 degrees. Monday when I was like driving to the rink at the same time, it was already 85. I mean, 60 is not cold, but it feels cold when you've been in hot heat and humidity for eons, but it feels great. And it's cool today, Wednesday, and it's supposed to heat up ish to like 80 the next couple days, but then Saturday and Sunday, it's the high is like 76. So um, I'll definitely be able to continue working on this project over the weekend. I'm so excited. However, this morning we started on the walking path. It is not finished. I'm going to go to the local landscape supply place and pick up more rocks. And I think I need two more stepping stones. I'm also going to bake cookies. 
because the, the guys were loading uh, stepping stones in the back of my truck in the pouring rain yesterday, and I felt so bad. So I'm hoping they're working there again today. They probably are, so I can give them some thank you cookies. And to give to the two gentlemen that are helping me work in the yard, I'm not gonna film them. They helped me unload the car. I kind of placed the stones everywhere, moved the rocks around. I really appreciate them because then this gets done way quicker. So it makes it possible for me to actually get this done. You can see right behind me back here, where the sandbox used to be. We put down sand, leveled it, put down topsoil. I did the grass seed and watered it. And I'm starving now. It's probably like 11 a.m. I have not eaten yet. I've just had coffee and water. So I'm basically at neutral ground. And I think I'm gonna take a break. Thankfully, I think I can sit outside on the deck to eat my breakfast. It's cool enough for that. And I'll work on a to-do list or to buy list from the landscaping place. But I'm so happy. It's going to be so pretty, you guys. I'm very excited. I think that's the update. I think you know what's going on now. I also want to roast some spaghetti squash, especially after doing more yard work this evening. So yeah, on that note, I will check in with you later. Make them come to make them come to you. Oh, I know they never really thought about it. I know I gotta make them on a body. Gotta make them come to make them come to you. A lifeline and look i like life and i like mine so i gave you most of my time i invest and i'm trying to buy time i work way too hard to give you that price way too far to switch to that side used to be so easy to find that was the last time make them come to make them come to you oh i know they never really thought about I gotta make them on a body Gotta make them come to make them come to you Make them come right to you Say less time, I have to show them what I do Hello, it is Friday night. We just got home from the vet. Wow, it's been a whirlwind of a week. So last time I checked in, it was Wednesday and we had done the yard work and it turned out fabulous. I'm so happy with the walking path. And we ordered more of the landscaping fabric tarp situation so we can do more whenever that shows up. And yesterday, I was at the rink. Yesterday was the first Thursday that I've skated. So I switched this week to skating four days a week instead of three, which is so exciting. I'm so happy about that. I didn't skate much. It was super cold in the rink and I was kind of really sore. <laughs> So I just kind of putzed around and like chatted with people, but like sometimes you need a chill day on the ice. And when I got home, I was doing some work on my computer because I had to do my accounting for the week. I discovered, because I ran into an issue with my iCloud years ago and it like deleted everything off of my computer, which was very upsetting. <laughs> Finally, I recovered it. And when I recovered it, it kind of duplicated all of my files at that time, which it wasn't a lot of files, but it duplicated them in this weird obscure place that I had never seen essentially. And I came across them while I was saving some stuff to my external hard drive because I had cleaned it out a little bit more and I lied I didn't just clean up 20 gigabytes of space off my phone I have 30 gigabytes free on my phone now amazing but I had transferred some videos from my phone to my computer and wanted to put them on my external hard drive wow it's really windy it feels great out by the way it's like 70 5, 78 maybe with nice breeze. It feels heavenly. That's why I wanted to deep clean inside and outside of the car, which I did. It took me two hours, but we got it done. <laughs> um, anywho, back to the computer. I was able, when I got rid of the duplicate files, I got rid of like another almost 400 gigabytes. And now I'm taking up 1.1 terabytes out of the two terabytes on my computer. The frustrating part is right now Best Buy has a sale, like a back to school sale on MacBook Pros and the biggest amount of memory computer that's on sale is a one terabyte. Why couldn't I have only 800 gigabytes out of one terabyte taken up? Because then I could actually benefit from the sale and buy a new MacBook Pro on sale, plus the part of my insurance, that they gave me a check to cover the damages on it, use that towards it. I could basically get a computer for free. It's so frustrating. <laughs> so maybe I'll look over the weekend and see if I can magically free up more space. I honestly doubt it at this point. Plus I'll need more space in the future. 
but I'm I'm happy that I did that much. But when and then when I got home from work yesterday, Rusty was bleeding. Every time I come home, either someone is bleeding, my mom included, or someone's pooped on the floor. Not my mom included. Like I literally had a nightmare Tuesday night about just endless dog poop. Every room I walked into, there was like a pile of dog poop, and I just couldn't keep up with the dog poop. That was my nightmare. But Rusty has had this skin tag on his side and they tried to freeze it off back in February, I think, and it didn't really work, but they got like a new freeze off machine and they tried that today. So fingers crossed that it'll actually freeze and fall off this time. It gets really irritated. It's right where his like harness hits him and sometimes he accidentally scratches it and then that's what happened this time. He accidentally scratched it and caught it and kind of like ripped open his skin which is very not good we're hoping that he doesn't have to go in for like a surgery for it because he has like a heart murmur a couple heart situations so it's not really safe to put him under for surgery so hopefully this works everyone hope keep your fingers crossed that this works for him for my poor little guy but he's doing fine and he got to go for a car ride so he thinks it's been a great day but yeah i'm starving i wanted to give you a little walk around in the yard because i have front yard work that i talked about early in spring and I think I finally fleshed out what we're actually gonna do. So we'll get that done in the next couple weeks as well, which is just a big yay. I'm gonna have like the rock garden portion of my front and backyard done this like month probably, which is incredible. I'm so stoked. And what else? Ooh, I have a spaghetti squash sitting in the fridge that I wanna make tonight for dinner and I am starving. So quick walk through and then we'll make that spaghetti squash. Also it's citywide garage sale weekend. So maybe tomorrow when I'm done with work, if I have enough energy, We'll go look for some books. So if you recall, this is the part that we did last summer. And there's kind of like too many of the stepping stones because we didn't have as much rock. And at that time we couldn't buy anymore. We couldn't like afford to buy anymore. So I think I'm going to steal probably like 16 of these little stepping stones over on this side to use over here. As you can see, we already have rocks here, which we might be stealing some for the backyard. Um, but we have tried to grow things here in this little strip for decades now. We even tried growing, I don't know if you can see any of them. Let's see, I'm playing I Spy. I can't, I can't find any. We have some ferns. The ferns never took, like normally ferns become huge and they're prehistoric so they can grow anywhere. Ooh, there's some poison ivy. That's not good. So we'll need to get rid of the weeds probably. We use like a non-toxic weed killer. It's like vinegar and soap and kill everything it's a weed so there's a fern there's a little fern we'll dig those up and use them elsewhere in the yard where they'll be happier but get this down to dirt put down the tarp probably a four foot one of the tarps down and we'll have to dig up the rocks around the edge so that we can put those to keep the edge down and then we'll use some of the stepping stones from over there and do kind of like a little zigzag walking pattern but I'm excited to do that. But for now, I'm gonna finally go eat something and then wash the dogs. They need a bath terribly. Hello, we are sitting outside because it's actually cool enough to do so and I'm trying not to be too self-conscious because there's like a party happening down the street and people keep walking by and hopefully I will get a few minutes free right now with no one so I don't have to feel awkward and cringe. But I went garage sailing and I got some books and while I hold them up you're allowed to guess how much I spent for them. Okay, if you guess one dollar for the whole lot, that's what I did. So let me show you the first books that I got. I'm so excited. These ones I all got for free. I'll explain. People just give me free books all the time. I must, I must look like I'm just in need. I have a thirst for books. So the first spot I went, I got these two books for $1. I got At Home in Mitford. And this just sounds like a cute little like feel good rom-com chiclet situation. Excited for that. 
I'm very excited about the second book I got because as you know, I bake like a fresh loaf of bread almost every week and I'm so excited. Bread machine magic. 139 exciting new recipes created especially for use in all types of bread machines. I can make all the bread you guys. There's so many amazing recipes. Old fashioned oatmeal rolls, citrus rye. Ooh, that sounds good. Herb bread. And look, look how cute this is. This is such a cute book. I really love the illustrations in it, on the cover, not in it, on the cover. Okay, so then I went to a couple other garage sales. They, they were already like shut down. Some people end early, but then I went to one and I ran into a friend from high school that I literally have not seen in like 15 years almost. This girl is just sunshine. She's a ball of sunshine. She is so radiant and happy and positive. So, so wonderful. One, getting to be reunited with her and we caught up and we exchanged like new phone numbers so that we can hang out. But also I got to meet her sister because I'd, I'd like seen her sister's face, but I never like met, met her sister. And of course we clicked too as well. So it is so exciting to like have friends nearby because it's, it's so hard to make new friends. And it's also hard to keep in touch with people because you just like fall, you know, into your own world after school and such. But they gave me all of these books for free because they're just so sweet. So that means that I definitely need to make them some pottery and like bake them some cookies. So that will be happening. Also they, uh, this is such a non sequitur, but they love Nightmare Before Christmas. So hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I might be making them some Nightmare Before Christmas themed pottery. I had an idea in my head when I was got home and ate lunch. Okay, so in no particular order, I got The Mister by E.L. James, same author of Fifty Shades of Grey. So I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of spicy. Oh, brief intermission. I've been trying to read The Great Gatsby. Listen, it's written beautifully. I kind of forgot what the story was about because I'd only ever seen the movie with, uh, what's his face, the guy who's like 80 years old and dates 18 year old girls. I forget his name right now. I love the movie visually because it was very beautiful. I hate the story. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna finish it. I have to be, I don't know, we'll see. Because it's not long, it's a short book. But goodness, the main character is just such not a girl's girl to put it simply. It makes me not like men, if that makes sense. But anywho, back to the books. I got Wreckage by Emily Bleeker. It looks good. It looks kind of suspenseful. And I I need to figure out what book I'm reading. I need, I think I need to switch over to Halloween themed books, to be honest. I'm just so ready for fall and I feel like the weather has switched over. I was freezing today at the farmer's market this morning. Oh, and sorry, I just got so excited. I'm like, I'm like a golden retriever right now, energy wise. But at the farmer's market this morning, they had a workshop because we have an art installation being put in in our town of this big, beautiful glass wall. And us, the townspeople, so to speak, get to make the tiles for it. So they had like a workshop set up so you could make a tile. And that was the tile I made. I made it to look like a sunset on the water. And I'm really happy with it. And I hope it turns out well. And it'll be cool to try to spy it. The first 10 foot section of the wall is supposed to go up in the spring. So it'll be a while. I have that reference image now, so I'll be able to find it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it was cold. It was so cold this morning. I was freezing and I and I dressed warmer. I put on a really long maxi dress and I wore this jacket the whole time and I thought this should be good. Nope, I was covered in goosebumps the whole time. I think I'm gonna switch over to Halloween themed books. I think it might be time. And this is one of the books that I think I wanna start reading. Uh, Ghost Stories by M.R. James. Ghost Stories and it looks so cute. And I can leave this out like as a decoration and you know in the fall and pick it up and read a couple and I think there's multiple stories in here. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I need a good ghost story. And my friend's sister who I met recommended this book called The Family Fang and it just sounds great. I almost dropped it. I really like the cover. And then this is the book I think I'm gonna read next. I, I think I'm craving kind of a suspense situation to ease into the Halloween theme. Plus it has a spider web on the cover, so basically spooky. Also, sorry about there's an airplane going overhead. Oh, it's a helicopter. Okay, so this one's called The Liar by Nora Roberts. It sounds like a good little suspense novel. I just, I think this might be the one I read next. I don't know. It's wild because I've read 21 books now this year, so I only need to read nine more. But I've, I've hit the slump because of reading The Great Gatsby. And, you know, bad reviews are valid too. I feel like I only ever read books that I really love or I end up really loving because I'm pretty good at figuring out from the description if I'm gonna like a book or not. So maybe it's good for me to read a book that I don't like and just leave a scathing review. <laughs> you know, it doesn't hurt. You're allowed to be shady every once in a while. But yeah, I wanted to show you what I got and wrap up the vlog and next vlog is the monthly reset it'll probably include some more yard work 
I'm hoping, it depends on when the landscaping fabric tarp situation comes to do more, your fingers crossed. And I think that is all. So on that note, I will see ya when I see ya.